Hi and welcome back to this channel. In today's video, we are going to see how to send the output of a Java program to a file stored on your local computer. This way of doing becomes very useful when especially we want to get the output of the program in a printed format. In order to do that, we are going to use a very special class in Java called the class PrintWriter. And this class is also contained in the package java.io. Now let me show you how this works with the help of an example. Let's suppose that we have an input file called myfile.txt, which is consisting of the following data, as you can see on the screen. And this data is corresponding to the first name, the name, the age, and the height of a very particular person. And also on the screen, as you can see here, I have already declared the appropriate uh, variables and called uh, the appropriate methods that I'm going to use to get the input from my input file, my file.txt. And then I'm going to store that input data inside these variables, first name, name, age, and height. In the first line of code, as you can see here, scanner input underscore file, assignment statement, new scanner, new file reader, and then the path to my input file. This first line of code is used to create and associate the scanner object to my input source, which is my file.txt. The string uh, first name here is used to, is going to be used to store the first name of the person. The variable name here is going to store the name the integer variable age is going to store the age and then uh, the double variable height will store the height of that person and also note that we are using predefined methods next next int and next double okay in order to get the input values from the file now as i said at the beginning in order to store the output of a program in a file we have to use the class print writer so i will start by declaring a print writer variable and associate this variable with the destination that is the file where the output will be stored so i will write print writer and i will call this output object output underscore file new print writer i'll open the brackets and uh, as you can see here, I need to import the print writer class. So I will import it like this. And inside the brackets here, I'm going to write the path to my output file. So I already created an output file here. So I'm just going to write its path. So I will say C. And here I need to put two backward slashes because a backward slash here in a string value is considered to be an escape character. So in order to get one backward slash, you need to write two backward slashes. So test two backward slashes, documents two backward slashes, and then the name of my output file is output file like this that txt. And here I have my column. So what this statement will do is that it is going to create a print writer object, output underscore file, and associate it with my file, output file.txt. So as I said, always make sure that you are writing the correct path to your output file, and also you are using two backward slashes here because of the escape character rules. So after doing that, you can now use the predefined methods, the print and the print line that is going to allow us to output the result of this small program in our file. So you know that basically when we want to output in Java, we want to output on the screen or in a console, we use the system that out that print line. So we in here, in this example, we are not going to use the system that out, but we will rather write the name of the output object, 
output underscore file because that's our output object that the predefined method now will be print or print line if you want so i'm going to write print line here and inside the brackets i will type in and then i will join the value stored in the variable first name i'll put a space here and then i will also join the value stored in a variable name so once this output statement is done, we have to close the file, okay? I will output file using the close method. So how to do that? We will still write output underscore file that close, open and close the brackets, semicolon. So this will ensure that the buffer holding the output will be emptied and the entire output generated by our small program will be sent to the output file, output.txt. So now if I run my program, okay, I don't have any error. And if I come back to my output file, I open it, you see I have, my name is John Doe. Okay, so I can see my name is John Doe. So that means that the statement assumes that first name is holding the value John and the variable name is holding the value. Okay, and also as you could see, the whole value inside the brackets here is now stored in my output file. So that's exactly what we specified in our statement. So we can also do this for the other uh, variables as well. So we are going to output the age and then the height. So we just copy and paste here. And I will say, uh, here I will just write I am, and then I'll join the variable age like this. So in here I will say years of age. Down here, I will say is, and I will write the variable height. Okay, so now, if I run, and if I come to my output file, you will see that I will get, my name is John Doe, I am 28 years of age, my height is 1.72. So just as we specified it, every output statement is working perfectly. So guys, this is how to send output of your Java program to a file stored on your local computer. So thanks for viewing. I hope this video was informative and please do not forget to like and subscribe to this channel for more. Let's meet in the next one.